We change the perception of Nigerians that we are all criminals. No, we are not. Nigerians are one of the smartest people on earth. As a Nigerian in South Africa, I feel proud about it uh, because uh, we are most of the times associated with uh, negative uh, narratives. As true and meaningful and hardworking Nigerians that are living in South Africa. Professor Larry Obi. Tabelo Patricia. My name is Amarachi. I was born in Benda. And you're Benda? Yes. Do you want South Africa to disown you? No. <laughs> you want them to do to you what they did to Chodeba? They can't do that to me. A nice development for the African community, including South Africa. Jalop Cafe, with three years of dedicated service, has announced the grand opening of its new branch. The ever popular Jalop Cafe franchise have launched four new locations in the last three years as part of its domestic plan to expand on domestic market. Johannesburg, Santin, Morningside, located at shop number two, Morning Glen Mall, Santin. Let us go in and have some interaction with those who have come from far and near to witness the grand opening of Jalop Cafe and also have their stomach filled with what Jalof Cafe has to offer. Morning Glen Mall, sent in Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to uh, Morningside Mall, South Africa, Johannesburg, where we are live at Jalof Cafe's grand opening. The service has been amazing and we are so proud of them that he has decided to open a different branch. We have some Jalof rice, um, fried rice, and very tasty. Someone is lost, somewhere. Ellie, you can start coming now. We are the food is place. Morning Glen Money side men of fancy. Can you find your way? You want to spend the location? I'm on an interview now. I need to get off. You, okay, bye. We'll talk later. Jollof Cafe is on a, is on a successful journey into creating a community of food lovers. So if you love food, if you're a foodie like me, just be one of the, one of our families. <laughs> I think I'm eating too much pepper. Yeah. And today we have so many branches. We have two franchises in Cape Town. This is the sixth one. So today, Thursday of August is the official opening of Jollof Cafe at Foodies Feast Money Spice, Money Glen Manor in San. I took rice. I took the fish was very very nice. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, very very nice. So it's a good experience this evening. My my sister introduced me to Nigerian food not so long ago and I'm really enjoying it. I was born and bred in Venda, came to Centurion, but however I had not tasted Nigerian food. I started eating it. Was it last month? Yeah. I think so, last month, yeah. I can't afford not to eat the papa, <laughs> the paper. It's very nice. And that is what brought you from Centurion to Sentin today. Yes. To witness the grand opening of Jalop Cafe. Yes. All right, would you recommend anyone to come to Jalop Cafe? I will recommend everyone to come from, you know, all the places of life to come and visit here and eat the nice uh, Jalop uh, right. My name is Amarachi. <laughs> I, I, I was born in Benda. Uh, but I stay in St. Children currently. This is my sister was just speaking here. Uh, we're here to celebrate with our friend Jomi open, in opening one of our franchises again. Our uh, Jollof Cafe. And the food is very so divine in this store. Everything you can eat from your old bangal soup, jollof rice, fried rice, fish, everything. Call it all Nigerian uh, dishes. You get them here and they're all delicious. All right. You say your name is what again? Amarachi. You know the meaning of Amarachi? Yes. What's the meaning of Amarachi? God's grace. God's grace? Yes. Whose language is that? Uh, Igbo. Igbo language? Yeah. And you're Benta? Yes. Do you want South Africa to disown you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want them to do to you what they did to Chodeba? They can't do that to me. It does not matter where you come from, whether it be Nigerian. We do not know whether where our great-grandfathers come from. They co come from all walks of life in Africa. So no one dare question us when you see. We are, we are Africans. proudly Africans. My, my son's name is also Amarachi because it's, it's called Dinga Chirizi. We go back to each other. We love the food. <coughs> what? We love the food. We enjoy the food. It's divine. Wow! The food is divine! <laughs> I vow to eat five plates today. This one I just the first one. You're not cafe. This food has the capacity to make you forget your forget your problem. 
My brother, if you don't get permit, chop food. <laughs> if you don't get permit, just a chop. Before they deport you, may not say don't chop to your local cafe. I already ate the pap with a few pieces, so it is nice. I'm sorry, I need it to go down fast so that I can enter another one. Greetings from Ghana to all of us. But Ghana came. Uh, especially Accra. Actually, we were on some rounds, African rounds. We went to Turkey, we went to Dubai, we went to Qatar, we went to so many countries, and this is where we end to spend some vacations. And then uh, we arrived here almost uh, six days ago. Then we, we saw it on the net. We go go and we saw it on the net, the long cafe. And then uh, we were here since today is uh, our fifth day that we are here. So it is well it. It is good. But I recommend it to everybody. Those outside, those uh, Africans outside everywhere, when you come to South Africa, look for. The Lord he has handed over the mic to his wife, and uh, I've been informed that the wife is the uh, chief immigration officer, uh, chief, uh, chief customs uh, officer in uh, Accra, Ghana. 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 So please put your hands together for a moment. No wonder she said, but she will tell us, I'm sure, the Lord of you won't be here. The Lord will be here. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> yes, indeed, we're on vacation and we are here to celebrate with the Jollof Cafe. Yes, it's tasted well and then we enjoy it very well. So delicious. So, I would advise everybody who will come to South Africa to come and taste uh, Jollof Cafe. It's very good. They should visit the cafe and they will see one day. They will see African jollof, proper African jollof. Some of us have been impacted by fingers that you may not see. And so sometimes when we see them, we just let you know that these are the people that have you know, shaped you know, our lives and all that. The reason why some of us are still doing it right is because people like uh, told us to do it the same way. I told him I wanted to create something. I didn't know how to open a business. I didn't know anything about South Africa. I just told him I just want to do something. So he invited me to his office in Hatfield and he opened uh, my CIPC and all that. And he released blessing. He said, Go. I don't know what you want to do, but I, I trust you because I've had a conversation with him. And he has watched me grow from uh, being a filmmaker because. The first thing I did when I came here was I created a small fund. So I was giving money to filmmakers to create small films. So we would create films and sell it to uh, Zanzi Magic. Um, right now, we are creating some titles. We are selling it to SABC. So that was my first initial investment. And that was him you know, providing me that direction on how to go and trusting me that I would be able to take it to the next level. Even when I wanted to start this other brand, I still consulted him, I did, what do you think about, he said, my wife has done something like this before, but based on the conversation I, I have with you, I think that there's something in you that will make a difference. And he told me how his wife started in uh, so, sunny side, yeah. And I said, don't worry, let's borrow that experience and use the useful energy that I have and we take it. And we thank God that uh, the advice he gave that day and the nurturing has produced what we have right now. And the third opportunity he gave to me was when it was time to elect the chairman of APC, uh, when we were about to start the campaign, and the ambassador called and he said, go and set up a framework to elect the chairman. I still went to him, I told him that I think that business mixed with governance will create more positive influence. And he tailored me and he mentored me into becoming the APC chairman. And for me, somebody that has been there for you three consecutive times is not just a brother, he's a father. Because he's a father that hands you over an opportunity. He's a father that wants you to be better than him. And guess what? I'm Yoruba and he's from Benin. That's to show that tribalism has no place in our culture. When we are here, we are all Nigerians, we are all Africans, 
and we both look for opportunities to pass the torch and ensure that you, you, you mentor and you tutor that torch so that it keeps burning, so that it's, on, it's able to pass to the next generation. So thank you so much, Boris uh, Almo. I'm indeed very grateful. Uh, I'm a product of your mentorship. And uh, what I, one thing I can guarantee you is that that mentoring that you've given to me and that opportunity, I'm going to develop it and hand it over to the next generation so that we can continue to create that uh, positive influence and positive uh, impacts that we all desire as true and meaningful and hardworking Nigerians that are living in South Africa. Thank you so much. Are you still expecting more people? Definitely. People are still coming, like from far of A lot of people are still in the offices now, so definitely they will come. And even, and I, can, this, I can see the MC. This is our uh, MC. I attended one function the other day. Somebody meets the doctor. Somebody meets the doctor. Which doctor? Which doctor in the corner? This is how you eat. Who's talking to you? I'm uh, Professor Larry Obi. I'm here on the uh, invitation uh, for the opening of Jollof uh, Cafe. I feel elated to be here because uh, the owners are friends and uh, I thought I should be here uh, to grace the, the grand opening. As a Nigerian in South Africa, I feel proud about it uh, because uh, we are most of the times associated with uh, negative uh, narratives, but uh, this is uh, on a very positive note with uh, prospects for employment opportunities uh, for South Africans and for people from other countries. So it's, it's really um, a nice development for the African community, including South Africa. The purpose of business is to affect the community that you have found yourself. Uh, before coming to South Africa, I've worked with the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission for almost six years. And um, I see the rot that criminality can do to our country. As a, as, as a nation, Nigeria, and um, I was part of that team. In fact, I was one of the first persons that worked with Duru Rivadi as a PA in, in 2003, August, when we started um, EFCC. And subsequently, I joined the Bank of Industry. And joining the Bank of Industry for me wasn't because I wanted a higher pay. It was because Bank of Industry afforded me the opportunity to contribute to economic development. Uh, providing loans to micro businesses, small, medium, and large scale enterprise, and even providing business support. Now, being in bank of industry for almost 10 years, I saw businesses start from nothing. There's a particular business in reference, Innocent Motor. Innocent started with making plastics, and today, bank of industry supported Innocent to start making cars. And now is exporting cars to neighboring countries and is bringing electric cars to Nigeria. And that is what enterprise can do uh, to a nation. And for me, when I came here, I said to myself, we are not going to come here with the wealth of experience that we have. And all we do is not to create job, jobs, rather. Uh, because we feel that creating jobs will do two things. We change the perception of Nigerians that we are all criminals. No, we are not. Nigerians are one of the smartest people on earth. Nigerians are amazing people. Nigerians are brilliant. Nigerians are enterprising. Nigerians want to change lives anywhere they find themselves and contribute. But you know, like any nation, there are elements of criminality in a group of people. Uh, you can't have a group of over 200 million people come together and not find elements of criminality. And those are the people that shape the narrative that everybody thinks Niger all Nigerians are about. And we said to ourselves, we need to start changing those realities. We need to start creating positive narrative in the community and start seeing that Nigerians can actually come to South Africa and create jobs. That's one. And secondly, I said to myself, coming here, most of our women that come here often times will come with their spouse uh, and they find themselves not being able to create jobs or not being able to integrate themselves into viable economic activity. And right now we have over 25 Nigerian women working in Jolo Cafe. And for me, that is very fundamental because I will go to all the eateries I hardly find Nigerians. I said, what is going on? Where are the women? And they said they are home. I said, no. Part of what is going to be our core value is to empower the Nigerian woman. Because we know what Nigerian women can do. 
if given the opportunity. And if you've seen how we have grown, and that our growth, you can't remove the Nigerian women uh, ingenuity and contribution to the growth of Jollof Cafe. And we keep growing and we keep creating impact because we want to change the narrative and we want to create economic opportunity. What I'm going to appeal to everybody here is that Jollof Cafe is not just about I want to make money. Let's change the narrative together. Let's give our children, the young ones in high schools, in primary schools, in secondary schools that you can be in South Africa and make something meaningful out of your life. I want to look at my children and the, and, and the children of all of us here and they must start finding role models that if that man can do it, I can do better. So it is our job to lay the foundation for them. So that when they grow up and see what we've done, they can take it to the next level. So, so that the narrative and the perception that we are all criminals, we cannot do, we are, we are, we are good for nothing, we are here as a menace, those narratives need to start changing. And that's why I want you to partner with me. Partner with me and let's make money together and let's create more presence in all the provinces. In all the provinces whereby people can have a touch point of what a Nigerian or Nigerians can do. One business will turn to two business, three brands, four brands, and before we know it, we are creating meaningful impact in the land of South Africa. So thank you so much for coming. I'm indeed very grateful. This is one of these our latest uh, franchise. In putting ourselves in food court area, it's going to be plug and play. With very minimal capital, we can all start plugging and playing Nigerian stores in different food courts around the nation. And before you know it, imagine us as a people creating the first 100,000 jobs. You know what that is going to do to our community. You know how that is going to change the narrative and the perception of our people. And as the APC chairman, some people have asked me, as the APC chairman, what are you doing? I said, my singular job as a diaspora chairman is to see that we change the narrative, is to see that we create economic opportunity. So we are not just doing this as a business, we are doing this as a political organization. So that when we change the narrative here, one way or the other, according to CNN, they said a secret weapon of Nigerians, of Nigeria, are the Nigerians in diaspora. Before you know it, this group of people will go back home and make the necessary change needed to increase the GDP of our country. So join me. Uh, our corporate office is at Nelson Mandela Square. We just opened a new office uh, where we are running all the operations, entire administration. Uh, call us. Let's talk. Let's see what capital you have. Let's see how we can work together to create a presence, create an economic opportunity for you, and continue to change the narrative. I want to use the opportunity to thank every one of you, and I hope you enjoy the food. We are very open to corrections. We want to improve, because what is food without it being in its authenticity? That for me is very important. If there is any way we can improve to make sure that the food is authentic, Please, we are open to correction and we surely take those corrections and effect it. Thank you so much for coming and God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the CEO himself, the one and only. I'm sure some of you have tasted your love already. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, we can deliver this your love. We'll deliver it and the Jollof will deliver you. As Plaza Eats, uh, we'll be doing deliveries for Jollof Cafe. So uh, we are available on Play Store, on Hawaii, and iStore. So you guys can basically download and everything that's on the menu item, you can find it there. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate every single person for coming. It was um, an idea based on passion, backed up by the Spirit of God. It has just been God's favor from the beginning. And the CEO over here has passion for Nigerian women. He said, let's put out there a brand that will cater for Nigerian women, who we'll offer them jobs, give them security, in a land like this. So, Jollof Cafe has been doing that from the beginning and the favor of God has just been too, too sufficient. We've opened four branches in Johannesburg and 
we are open. We are also working on opening a couple of branches in Cape Town because we have partners and we have people that have committed to buying franchises. So franchise will be some franchises have gone out and we have two spots in Cape Town, one at Sea Point and another one at Parkland. So we hope by hopefully by the end of this year we should be wrapping up on those branches. And we know the brand is just starting and the sky is the starting point for Jolophobe. And we thank God for our CEO, God to give him long life, favor, prosperity to do more for the Nigerian community. Thank you. Alright, Jollof Cafe is serving South Africa and the world with real taste of Nigerian food. This is a place where you quench your taste and serve your cravings with real African dishes. Let's leave it here for now. Nelson C. Akachuku.